just FPV. Hello and welcome along to this little part of the video where I will just unbox something new I got. And uh, this is no freebie, this is something I bought myself as usual because I'm not the freebie guy, you know. I'm the one paying for my stuff. Anyways, uh, let's open it up. It's no mystery, I'm certainly not the first to get it. <laughs> I would tend to say I could be the last one to hold it in my hands. So uh, I won't make a big deal out of it, but I'm curious after being in this type of mode if this little fella is as good as it is supposed to be everybody did hype it uh me not because i didn't have it at hands couldn't try it whether it was bad and other facts uh went sideways for me so i couldn't test it out anyways um the currently cheapest uh flight computer around i would say and uh, certainly not the burst. I've been seeing this thing. So it comes in this box. You've been certainly seeing this in other videos. And everything is uh, well documented. Well, fine. <clears throat> I'll put it aside. I'm not the read the manual dude. I will uh, swear and uh, go Google instead. <laughs> and here we are. The parts. The parts where we will get along and... Uh, solder all the pins together here together with the other boards and uh, i don't want to make a big uh, fuss out of this this is just a little flat computer which has to be assembled it has new features nice features you read them by now surely several times because either you order this or you are waiting for yours i would assume no this is not a sponsored video review this is just uh, an assumption well <clears throat> goes together real easy and let me see my oldish eyes here we'll hit it right like so okay fine and uh, this fella will certainly go on top like so and I guess that's all there is to it well mostly some pins and screws and stuff and etc part inside <clears throat> So this is most interesting to see what we have here. Yeah, more of those yellowish things. And these guys come really in handy because they are uh, at the right width. So you can solder it on. And I'm happy to do so because I like the stuff sold. And pluggable here, we've got the other accessories. And uh, also these are very appreciated, comfortable to uh, the usual Bytean a uh, GPS unit which I apparently not have at hands at this moment. Oh wait, I have one, my oldish one. This one, yeah, the 220. Yeah, it's a 220. It never got happy with and went down to the 180s instead. As you can see, I've been soldering up this thing and it's uh, first thing you notice is that uh, you got endless connectors on it and that's what was. I advertised you have to pluck your stuff in and it's good. I've decided to take those multicolored pin headers. Let me see, I can get it in focus. Here we go, focus, yeah, there we go. And um, well prepared to put my power connections on. The left hand side is for minus. That means two times ESCs and one for the battery itself. On the other hand, it's two times ESC. That's those two buggers here. And the battery plugs in here. Well. Um, connected to a USB 3 or USB C device, not USB 3, um, usual buttons on it like boot and mute and the buzzer. And what I really like, really, really like, is one detail as I'm flying Express LRS and many of you fly Express LRS 2 and also Crossfire, you can see there's a dedicated uh, connector here. I really like that. Good idea, good idea. And uh, well, let's see if we can power it up. So, we go here. See, there we go. Yeah, it's flashing, it's black. Let's see if this can focus. We can focus this. Yes, yeah, maybe here somewhere. Well, it doesn't matter. You can see it flashes and blinks. It looks like a discotheque. Um, every one of these has some several features and tells us stuff. This here and 
whatever. I didn't read the manual so far because I'm not the manual guy, but I will hook it up to INF6 now and we will flash it for the first time. How about that? Okay, everybody. We have, as you can see, hooked it up and you can see it is uh, found here as USB modem and I will go over to the flasher and it should and it does detect the f405 directly that's good i want to place 60 on it in the latest and greatest perhaps and uh well uh, anything else no just load it directly and flash the firmware so it's um working now nothing special about that i don't expect anything fancy to happen it will simply do as it has to do. Directly found the DFU uh, connection, that's good. There has been some issues with prior versions and my flat computers, but well, you know, maybe it's me. <laughs> this time it works, makes me very happy. And uh, it is flashing along gently and nice. Take you some seconds and uh, what I kind of tell you about this well, I don't know what I will hook up, but uh, it will be a lot. And I think this, as mentioned, will go into the Skywalker X6 uh, wing, which uh, needs a new FC and uh, some more love. We'll get some uh, walk snail too, and uh, maybe the GoPro 11. So a bit special. This works. This um, this worked. I just rebooted, and uh, I've. Uh, shut the buzzer down because you know that sounds are loud and other people in the house is say uh, are sleeping so i'm trying to keep silent here so we connect now and here we go we go for a wing and that's it it will take the default for the wing now and reboots after having applied those so yeah hmm Okay, saving default settings. Okay, it takes a bit long time, doesn't it? There we go, back in business. Let's see if this, will, yeah, works, works. First of all, I would like to, before I do anything, just calibrate. That's just a habit I have. Well, first, uh, fresh FC, the first thing I do is simply just flash the new firmware on it and then simply go to calibrate and that's what i will do here with you i hit the calibrate button it says okay do it six times i'll do so what it says because i'm a brave little follower okay and then we'll just turn it around on the head usually my first calibration goes away but this time it won't that's good a good sign <laughs> side was well, the wrong one, of course. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Don't have to be in order, but I guess you know that. And so I just keep going. And one more to go. And this should be it. Okay, looks like we have some values down here. I'll save and reboot. Once again. Boots, flashes, and several fancy ways. And there you go. Anything you would like to have is here. It's calibrated well. You see, everything is good. Everything's green. Okay, people, here we go. So that's it. That's the easy flashing thing here. Um, you have been seeing this, and there was no fuss about it. It just simply worked. Uh, INF6 uh, simply I recognized the FC and uh, flashing went through nothing unexpected to happen here so um we are good to go aren't we yes we are much too easy i've been through worse <laughs> and so have you certainly but um this is happy happy times because you see all those connections i don't know if you're ever gonna let me see if i can focus this can it focus can it focus? no it won't yeah, yeah now it can all those connections i don't know if you ever will need those but i for example won't i guess i will be a gps unit there will be uh, 
of course a walk snail that will be the express LRS but it has a dedicated connector and uh, so this will get um, a whole new experience just to pluck things on um, it's cool no doubt build quality is good um, only thing to maybe mention that's no critic don't get me wrong only thing to mention is simply that uh, the prints on the PCBs are sometimes hard to read that's not because I'm old Let's say I'm an old man, yes. <laughs> Not because of that, because I perhaps needed glasses or such. No, it's uh, more likely the print on them is um, hard to see. Assembling this was easy. Disassembly must uh, not take too long time because just four screws and you just lose it up and de de uh, disconnect those two connectors that are sitting here. Um, well, I will have to find out what all those blinking lights will do, aside of making me crazy, but well, if it's inside my Skywalker X6, that will be no problem, because I don't see this. <clears throat> well, do I have to say more? I don't think so. Don't want to bother you with more of that. So I guess that's it for the speedy, speedy B introduction and uh, as mentioned I bought, I bought it myself nothing paid for me and to be honest I guess I will order more so far so good that's it don't forget to hit the subscribe button the subscribe. That, would be awesome. that would be awesome take this and build it into the x6 and there goes my daughter <laughs>